Over time, a woman's breasts may lose their youthful shape and firmness, resulting in sagging breasts with a flattened, elongated shape and a nipple and areola complex that is pointed downwards. These changes may result following pregnancy, breastfeeding, weight fluctuations, or due to aging and the effects of gravity and heredity. A breast lift is plastic surgery to rejuvenate your figure with a more firm rounded breast with natural projection and a more youthful position. A breast lift can also reduce the size of the areola, the dark skin surrounding the nipple that can become enlarged over time due to breast sagging and stretched skin. A breast lift alone does not increase breast size. However, it can be performed in conjunction with breast augmentation the surgical placement of breast implants, which can provide improved upper breast fullness or cleavage. This program presents an overview of a breast lift. It is not a substitute for complete consultation with a plastic surgeon, certified by the American Board of Plastic Surgery or the Royal College of Physicians and Surgeons of Canada. Breast lift surgery is a highly individualized procedure and you should do it for yourself not to fulfill someone else's desires or to try to fit any sort of ideal image. A woman of any age whose breast development is stable and who is of stable weight can be a good candidate for a breast lift. The changes to a woman's breast following weight loss and the changes that result following pregnancy and breastfeeding may diminish the result of a breast lift. Therefore, if you are planning future weight loss or pregnancies, you may wish to postpone your breast lift. In addition, good candidates for breast lift are healthy individuals who do not have life-threatening illnesses or medical conditions that can impair healing. A consultation with a board-certified plastic surgeon and member of the American Society of Plastic Surgeons is the first step to learn how a breast lift can enhance breast appearance and improve your body image. A consultation is designed to fully educate you about a breast lift with a discussion of your goals the options available in breast lift surgery, the likely outcomes of breast lift surgery and potential risks and complications. Your surgeon will also describe the course of treatment recommended for you and answer your questions. During a consultation, you'll be asked to share your personal health history. Full disclosure of your health history is important to your safety. This includes any history of breast cancer in your family and your personal breast health. You must also be candid about current medications you may be taking, the use of vitamins and herbal supplements, and alcohol, tobacco, and drug use. Your surgeon may ask that you get a preliminary blood test and take certain medications or adjust your current medications. You will also be asked to stop smoking and avoid taking aspirin and certain anti-inflammatory drugs as they can increase bleeding. Your plastic surgeon will also examine and measure your breasts, including detailed measurements of their size and shape, skin quality, and placement of your nipples and areolas. Photographs may also be taken to document your breast's appearance. A mammogram may be recommended prior to and following your procedure to ensure breast health and serve as a baseline for future comparison. By making the decision to consult with a board-certified plastic surgeon and following all of the instructions you were given, you are taking an important step to helping ensure your safety. A board-certified plastic surgeon is a physician who is specifically trained in plastic surgery of the face and entire body. A breast lift is generally performed on an outpatient basis, in an office-based surgical facility, an ambulatory surgical center, or hospital setting. Members of the American Society of Plastic Surgeons are required to use only accredited surgical facilities. Your breast lift surgery can be achieved through a variety of incision patterns and techniques. The technique and incision pattern recommended for your breast lift will be based on your breast size and shape, the size and position of your areola, and the degree of breast sagging you have, as well as the skin elasticity and the amount of excess skin that will be removed. Medications are administered for your comfort during the surgical procedure. The choices include intravenous sedation and general anesthesia. Your doctor will recommend the best choice for you. Incision patterns have many variations that may include all or a combination of an incision around the areola, vertically down from the areola to the breast crease, and horizontally along the breast crease.
Through these incisions, the underlying breast tissue is lifted and reshaped. The nipple and areola are repositioned to a natural, more youthful height. And if necessary, an enlarged areola is reduced by excising skin at the perimeter. Excess breast skin is removed and the remaining skin tightened as the incisions are closed with sutures, skin adhesives, and or surgical tape. Many women desire the smallest scar possible. However, your plastic surgeon will recommend the incisions which best suit your anatomy. Listen to your surgeon and do not diminish your result by demanding an incision that will not be appropriate for you. The decision to have breast lift surgery is extremely personal. You will have to decide if the risks and potential complications are acceptable. In general, complications from plastic surgery of the breast include bleeding, poor healing at the incision sites, changes in nipple sensation, and infection. Prior to your procedure, you will be asked to sign informed consent documents. These documents assure your plastic surgeon that you fully understand the procedure you will undergo and potential risks and complications. Breast lift surgery does not generally interfere with a woman's future ability to breastfeed. However, the changes to a woman's breast following pregnancy and breastfeeding may diminish the result of a breast lift. If you are planning future weight loss or pregnancies, you may wish to postpone your breast lift. Immediately following your surgery, dressings or bandages may be applied to your incisions, and an elastic bandage or support bra will minimize swelling and support the breasts as they heal. A small thin tube may be temporarily placed under the skin to drain any excess blood that may collect. Before being released, you and an accompanying family member, friend, or caregiver will be given specific instructions that may include how to care for the breast following surgery, medications to apply or take orally to aid healing and reduce the risk of an infection, specific changes to watch for at the surgical site or in overall health, and when to follow up with your plastic surgeon. Following your physician's post-operation instructions is essential to the success of your surgery. It's important that the surgical incisions are not subjected to excessive force, swelling, abrasion, or motion during the time of healing. Be sure to ask your plastic surgeon specific questions about what you can expect during your individual recovery period. The results of your breast lift surgery are immediately visible. Satisfaction with your new image should continue to grow as you recover from surgery. Over time, post-surgical swelling will resolve and incision lines, although permanent, will fade. The final results of your breast lift will appear over the next few months as breast shape and position continue to settle. The results will be long-lasting but over time, your breasts will continue to change due to aging and gravity. You'll be able to retain your new look longer if you maintain a stable weight and a healthy lifestyle. Prices for breast lift can vary. The cost of the surgery may be based on the surgeon's experience, the type of procedure used, and geographic location. Be sure to ask your plastic surgeon what patient financing plans they offer. Costs for breast lift surgery include anesthesia fees, hospital and surgical facility costs, medical tests, prescriptions, and surgeon fees. Most health insurance plans will not cover breast lift surgery. You must carefully review your health insurance policy. When choosing a plastic surgeon, remember that the surgeon's experience and your comfort with him or her are just as important as the final cost of the surgery. The American Society of Plastic Surgeons has prepared this educational program to supplement your personal consultation with a plastic surgeon who is certified by the American Board of Plastic Surgery or the Royal College of Physicians and Surgeons of Canada. Plastic surgeons with this certification have completed approved surgical training and rigorous examinations in plastic surgery, including both cosmetic and reconstructive procedures of the face and entire body.